Hey, how are folks? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have one of the most unique diecasts we've reviewed in a while. It is Will Powers 2017 Verizon IndyCar 164, brand new in the package by Greenlight Collectibles. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pop it out of the package and jump right into it. Well, of course, before opening it, I needed to check out the package itself. And let me tell you, I love this type of clamshell packaging. You take advantage of the full package uh, artwork. You have IMS in the background. You have like this silver stripe right there uh, in the middle. You got the brand uh, Verizon IndyCar Series. You know, the title sponsor got the number 12 wheel power. Very sleek, very fast. I really wish uh, NASCAR diecast would do packaging like this. Now, it is a clamshell that has been sealed uh, with heat, so you cannot open this up without damaging it, which I don't like that. I like reclosable packages, personally. But from a collecting perspective, it does give it better value. So anyways, go to the back end of the diecast here. you got green light collectibles. You have, of course, you know, Verizon IndyCar Series. Nowadays, they're known as the NTT IndyCar Series. Back when they actually used to do oval racing nowadays it's just a road course series i'm sorry it's it's street courses and road courses only and i i gotta be honest with you i miss the oval days of indycar like I, I, i'm losing i'm losing interest guys <laughs> so you have the card here we'll take a uh, a look at that right now and that's what's so cool about this packaging you don't have to destroy it to get the collectible card uh, you can we'll zoom in here. I'm not going to bore you to death reading all that, but you can check it out. Uh, I'll pause it. You can be able to pause it right here. Uh, but I will say, though, the, the presentation for it, if I can get my camera to focus, the presentation is very clean. I like the shadowing. shows the residents, their hometown, and, of course, their birthday, which is really cool. Like, that's, like that is such, such a little, you know, Larry McNugget, if you will, uh, when it comes to, your you know, your die-cast packaging to have little details about the driver themselves. They don't do anything really much like that anymore on the NASCAR side. They used to, though. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut open this package. Alrighty, folks. We're out of the good old packaging. And let's dive into this die cast review of this thing. I mean, it definitely gives me uh, vibes of Sterling Marlin's Coors Light Silver Bullet. I love silver paint jobs. And uh, the Willpower Verizon Chevy definitely captures that essence i believe he won the indy 500 in 2018 i don't remember who won it in 2017 uh but anyways let's go ahead and dive into this die cast review so the the body style has changed uh, in the last you know six to seven years of indy car racing now they run the halo uh the rear bumper looking things are gone they've changed it uh and i definitely like that this is based on the air uh, oval arrow kit i believe which would make sense because IMS is their biggest draw of the year uh, by far. Got Verizon, got Chevrolet, number 12, Verizon IndyCar Series. Penske, got Snap-on, uh, Shell Penzol, PPG, PPG, Delara, or the front end of the car. Always liked how some of the Indy cars would have like a silver little uh, tip on the front nose cone. Very, very sharp. Love watching oval Indy car racing. Like, I'm not even going to front. It, it, it's... They run so many street courses nowadays. I I'm so tired of it. I I'm not even going to front. When they run um, oval racing, and I heard they're going to Nashville Super Speedway this year. It's a it's an absolute miracle. It's a shame they won't go to Homestead or Chicagoland or something or Kansas. But, uh, man, when they pull up to insert generic street course, I'm so done with it, man. Like, I could get maybe one or two of them. Or, but, like, oval indie car racing is so exciting. Uh, and then they pull Texas off the circuit, which I don't blame them because Texas is a dumpster fire now. And then they go to Iowa last year. And oh my goodness, Iowa was so bad. Both of the races were so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, they got to do something with the rules package or something. I don't know. Uh, it probably won't be as bad as the cup race there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I <laughs> got Verizon there. Verizon, once again. Uh, just in case you thought this was an AT&T sponsored diecast. No, it's Verizon. Got number 12 right there. I could see Ryan Blaney doing a paint scheme like that. Like at the Coke 600 running the, the Pinsky number 12. I could see that. Got a lot of small logos on here. I want to zoom in to see this. But uh, got Shell, uh, V-Power, Nitro. You got Nitro in this night. Holy cow. Uh, that's pretty cool. I got Sunoco there, which I think nowadays is like uh, Safeway or something. Fuel. You got AAA Insurance, PTC. Fortunately, it's not a PTC mode die cast. Got your Firestone uh, wheels, or tires rather. Got Firestone again. 
to the back end of the die cast. And uh, this is those goofy back bumper pods they used. Uh, I think it was 2012 to 20, uh, 2019, maybe? 2019, 2018, something like that. I mean, looking back, they, they, they look kind of wild. <laughs> it's like some space age stuff. Uh, these back bumper pods. And anyways, you've got your Verizon spoiler. Now, I think this little extra right here is the TV cam. Uh, so you could see it doing like that, uh, give or take. Go to the top of the die cast, there's nothing on the side pods. Uh, but man, what a cool looking car. I love that silver paint job. And uh, go to the right side of the car. And, and look at the die cast tooling for these things. I mean, all the curvatures, the, uh, the just all these different things that they have to cast in a, uh, you know, a die cast mold. It's remarkable. All the grooves and the details, like the whole nose cone, that's all metal. Like that's, that is remarkable to be able to have that amount of quality. And uh, you go to the bottom of it. I always loved how on some of the uh, green light 164s, they actually put a number, like a batch number. So it shows you like uh, 912 or something or whatever the Biff car it is off the assembly line. I don't know what year they started doing that, but I always thought that was really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, these IndyCar diecasts, they're fun. They're fun. They're definitely different. Um, I just wish IndyCar racing would go back to what made me a fan of it. And that's oval racing like Pocono. Heck, I remember watching or, you know, I remember watching like qualifying for Auto Club before they blew up that place. Uh, Michigan would be a fun track to watch. I just don't get it, guys. Like, you look at the oval Indy IndyCar racing and it's one of the most exciting, thrilling forms of all motorsport. And they're like, nah, let's go to another street course. I don't get it, guys. I, I really don't get it. Uh, I, I'm probably not going to watch any of the street course racing this year. I really am not. Uh, I'll, I'll probably mainly just tune in for the oval races, and I'll just focus on NASCAR. because I like, I like road courses. I don't really care for street courses. I like racing them in video games, though. But uh, I, I'm an oval racing guy. That's how I am at heart. And uh, I miss when... IndyCar used to do a buttload of oval racing. They need to go back to that. And, of course, the chrome wheels of this thing are just fantastic. And, you know, if you're an IndyCar fan or you like NASCAR diecasts, make sure to head over there to Circle B Diecast. They got a buttload of good stuff over there. They do carry IndyCar diecasts. Uh, so you could shop over there if you'd like. And you make sure you use that promo code. Uh, it'll help you save on shipping. Any orders, $30 or more. And uh, th th this is really cool here. How, like... How retro the open cockpit diecasts actually look now. You know, you go back years ago to um, what was it, the the, the little Mons, uh, you know, prototypes, the Daytona prototypes. How like in 2009, 2008, or whatnot, all he had is like a little uh, a roll bar, like a convertible roll bar, and the whole front thing was open. And they were in a 24-hour race with that. And nowadays they're all closed cockpit. It's just it's just crazy how fast technology changes. I mean, IndyCar has used some windscreens in the past, but could you imagine going 240 miles per hour in a, cor a convertible car, an oversized goat cart, if you will, with no windscreen? Yeah, they did put that little shark fin thing in the front, but I mean, if a tire comes off a car, that little fin is probably not going to help you too much. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, I'm not willing to take a chance. So it's, uh, I, I feel like 30 years from now, they're going to look back at this kind of like how NASCAR used to run like convertibles at like Charlotte Motor Speedway. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. Uh, the safety of motorsports and how it's all changed. But that's all for now, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.